Are you using the Medique tools? If you are, you know that there's no faster way to build accurate detailed construction models in SketchUp. But now you need drawings, right? In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to pump out permit sets faster than you ever could have imagined from those detailed Medique models. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion about the Medique tools and explain how I intend to use them on every project moving forward. Sound interesting? Hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get to it. After having meticulously crafted a garage model with the Medik BIM suite, it's now pivotal to translate our efforts into tangible drawing. For this transition, we will rely on the Conduct Tools extension. The latest release offers a new drawing set or .conduct file that seamlessly integrates with the Medik tools. In essence, the Conduct tools can be reprogrammed to cooperate with Medik's tags. Upon integrating the Architect Medik drawing set and triggering the reset button, the Medik tags relocate to the Condoc Tools tag folder. Condoc is now managing the visibility of these tags. The Medik tags are granular, controlling the visibility of distinct parts and assemblies, while the Condoc tags offer more general categorization. Both tag sets will be used to better manage our model's entity visibility. Here's how. I'll select the bulk plane and assign the Condoc Always Off tag. This element is merely a diagram to design within, so it shouldn't appear in our final drawings. I can turn off a conduct tag using the familiar SketchUp Tags dialog. The aerial imagery is tagged as context, and again, turn off via the SketchUp Tags dialog. The site survey gets the element background conduct tag and is switched off. The lot is tagged as earth and is switched off, leaving only the Medik building structure remaining. Check out how the Medik tags control the pieces and parts that make up the larger assemblies. We can leave these tags alone and assign conduct tags to the outside of the assemblies. The roof gets several tags, roof, exterior, and new. You can assign multiple conduct tags to one entity, eliminating the complicated shell game of nested groups. This is the functionality I was expecting when SketchUp renamed layers to tags. I guess if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. All walls are tagged with walls, exterior, new, and then turned off. The foundation receives Condoc's foundation, exterior, and new tags. Finally, the slab is tagged as floors, interior, new. With our model organized, we'll use the Conduct tools to create scenes for drawings. On launching the plan generator, a project setup prompt appears, inquiring about levels, basements, and floor heights. Once set, I'll pick foundation plan, plan detail, construction plan, and a roof plan within the plan generator dialog. Upon creating plans, a series of scenes will be generated. It's never a bad idea to click through the scenes to spot any errors and go ahead and update any scene properties you like. This system is flexible. You're not gonna hurt anything. Next, using the elevation tool, click on each side of the garage to capture an elevation. We'll use the CAD style elevation with shadow. These scenes are numbered sequentially and all the shadows are set to a perfect 45 degree angle. Sections are added next with the Condoc section tool, focusing on the garage's center ridgeline and window detail. Once again, we'll use black and white CAD style output. The Condoc drawing export is used to compile the drawings in layout. The drawings are selected, scales adjusted, and then sent to layout. In layout, a new document is started from a template. Then each drawing is inserted from the Condoc drawing scrapbook. The export process stacks and groups the scenes into complete drawings, sets line weights, optimizes render settings, essentially automates all the tedious manual work. Now here's my honest take. I wouldn't use the Medik tools to model every project. I work on a lot of renovations, which typically start with a canvas scan, and I don't need all that detail offered by the Medik tools. But there is a way that this tool can be used on literally every project, and it totally justifies the cost. Creating details, which I'm not great at, and I don't particularly enjoy doing. The Medik tools allow me to quickly create simple mockups of construction details and then slice them using the Condoc section tool. I can choose a CAD detail background, send to layout, explode, and now I have full control over hatches and line weights. Or you might even consider using the section perspective to get the best of both 2D and 3D worlds. In my opinion, that trick right there is worth Medik's price of admission. I put a link in the description so you can download this garage SketchUp model and layout permit set to have a look for yourself. So do you want to learn how you can use these tools on your projects? Well, don't miss the Garage Permit Set live stream event. I'll show you every trick I know while modeling a real garage with the Medik tools, and then send a permit set to layout using the Conduct tools. Or check out our latest upload here. I'm sure it's a gem. If you got something useful from this video, can you give me a thumbs up? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss a thing. I'll see you next time.